Gemini, welcome to your Sun, Moon, Rising reading. My name's Clive, you're watching Emery's Tarot. Okay, so without further ado, let's see what's happening for my Gemini and friends. If that's the right term. Universe Spirits Guides, what's going on for the sign of Gemini? Straight off the bat, Queen of Wands. Mm. Somebody is very friendly. I'm kind of getting that you are perhaps dealing with somebody who is very friendly, loyal. All right. But there is some confusion around this person as what their motives are and what they actually want. You're trying to figure that out. All right. Now, this person at the moment I'm getting here is living the moment. They're not looking for anything long term. It's not to say never, but at the moment they are just, you know, they they just want to see how it goes. Okay. Now, there is options here. There's also a lot of confusion. Hmm. I'm kind of getting here. Your confidence has been growing a lot. Okay, with regards to this situation, whether it's in a work situation or a personal situation, but your confidence in it has been growing and you are kind of working out exactly what it is you want. All right. Now, I'm kind of getting there is a bit of a challenge attached to this person. It's, it's kind of like, how do you put those dreams into reality? Those aspirations, those desires, how do you actually put them into reality? This is kind of what I'm getting is the, the true challenge here. All right. Now, perhaps this person is involved with somebody else or you're involved with somebody else. All right. And it, it is producing a bit of a conundrum here. Yeah. But you're very resolute, really, in the sense that you want to see it through. OK, there's been a lot of scattered energy here, but I'm getting this person is coming in and will perhaps have a conversation with you and possibly be able to assess a way forward. OK, it's it's trying to work out how to take this relationship forward. But this person you're dealing with, with a lot of fire energy here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, they they want to move it forward on a certain level. Now, whether... The circumstances are not favourable at the moment. They see it as being able to kind of work a way forward. Okay, even if the f f they're looking for solutions, not problems. But what I'm getting with you is your confidence is growing. All right, and yeah, very conflict of interests. Now, whether you're married again or tied in with somebody else or the same goes for this person, you could both be involved. But there's, I'm kind of getting there's a completion. There's new opportunities. You've come full circle with this person. There is a hit. There is a long history here. And this could go back for some of you a decade. But now it's kind of either finding a way forward or not. It's a make or break situation. All right. But either way, you're coming full circle on yourself and you have a lot more ideas. I'm seeing travel for you. Now, perhaps this is a distance relationship, but what I am getting is that you do, one way or the other, want to bring closure on this particular situation. I'm kind of getting you, this, either you or this person couldn't decide exactly what it is they wanted. All right, now there's now that decision on getting is being made. There is marriage and family values here affecting this decision, okay? And it is causing a bit of conflict. There could be a parental influence as well. All right, but there's definitely a marriage that's affecting this. And uh, you know, it's 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 finding a level of commitment, but not necessarily with marriage and living together, etc., etc. There's definitely loyalty here. There's definitely a lot of attraction. And I'm kind of getting at the moment, neither of you are prepared to give up what you got to be together. Mm. I'm getting this kind of drifting along. Mm. dealing with the past there's a reconciliation here yep 
there has been a parting of the ways and now either you want reconciliation with this person or this person wants reconciliation with you. But this Six of Cups is a very complex card. I mean, it's, it works on a hundred different levels. Like I could say it's not necessarily living together, married, the dog, the cat, etc. The nine to five job. It's finding a way forward. It depends on kind of what you want. And because I'm speaking to a lot of people and, you know, this is a general reading, you know, a lot of you will want very different things out of this particular relationship all right but there is a there does seem to be a conflict of interests here and there doesn't seem to be a way forward at the moment there is there is rather a lot of stagnation around of this and it's a question of you know who's going to make the first move who's going to follow it through do they have any intentions of following through what they said do you have any intentions of following through what you said and even if you get your desire with this person, knowing yourself, asking yourself, well, am I actually capable of sustaining this? Mm. Under these particular circumstances. Let's get a bit more on your energy. Mm. Wow. You're becoming incredibly disciplined. I'm kind of getting, as well, you're a bit more fun-loving. This person has perhaps been in and out of your life, and you're wondering how to deal with it, but your confidence is growing, I tell you. you you're getting to know this person very well, and perhaps for some of you, you feel you know this person better than they know themselves. It's kind of like you can predict, <laughs> okay, and your intuition is... But generally speaking, you're you're hoping for some kind of long-term commitment here on whatever level. All right. You are prepared to follow through, but it, it was like this person needs to catch you up energetically. All right. But there is a big desire here. There's certainly a lot of passion between you two. Um, perhaps there is that endeavour or perhaps opportunity there to make a rather impulsive decision. Mm. Mm, tower moment. Rather surprising developments. All right. I'm kind of getting you're going to act as a catalyst. You're going to be the one that gets this thing moving one way or the other. And as such, your confidence is growing. It's like, it's not that you don't care. It's you're much prepared to take the rejection. You're tired of waiting. You're tired of this in and out energy. You're very resolute. And I'm kind of getting a decision being made here. And the truth being spoken. It's like a do or dare. Mm. Yeah, there it is, that ace of swords. Breaking the silence, breaking the stagnation. I'm getting you're about to make a very, very bold move and you're willing to take the consequences. Because your confidence is growing, not for them, but within yourself. Mm. There's a lot more maturity around this than there has been. Mm. So we'll way forward. Mm, yeah, following your heart's desire with a lot more discipline. Your actions are going to be the catalyst, as I said, but you're not necessarily the one that's going to make the first move. I'm getting this person's going to come to you because you're acting in a way towards them how you've not acted before. Perhaps you were the one to chase them in the past. Now you're turning that round. You're much more resolute. You're determined to follow a certain path based on your thoughts, your feelings, your intuition, okay? You're acting out of character from their point of view. But what the real truth is, you're acting in character. You acted out of character before, trying to please them, self-sabotaging, neglecting your own feelings, etc., etc., etc. That's not always a good idea. I'm kind of getting, like I say, your confidence is growing. You're acting from their point of view out of character, okay? And when you do that... I'm kind of getting there's a big turnaround and you they're the ones kind of chasing you 
Mm, perhaps this is the type of person who likes the thrill of the chase. Mm. Let's get this Queen of Wands here. Why is this Queen of Wands here? Mm, fresh start, like I say. But you're being very studious. Hmm. You're starting to believe in yourself much more. You really are. This Ace of Swords. Why is this Ace of Swords here? Ace of Cups. Yeah. Fresh approach. There's also somebody. For you. I'm kind of getting this is developed. You've met somebody else. You're off on another route. Mm, somebody here wants reconciliation. Somebody took you for granted. You found somebody else. They've realised they're losing you. So they come running. Mm, six of cups. Why is this six of cups here? You're certainly coming to terms with the past. That's for sure. Why is this six of cups here? I press this. Yeah. Your intuition is very strong at the moment. Yeah, there's, there's, there's somebody here wants connection with you, but they don't want, they're afraid of commitment. Or well, you're afraid of commitment. But you, you're much wiser, you see. You're much, you've learnt a lot. There's a very big karmic lesson here. Why is this tower here? Three of Wands actually acting. Yeah. There's been a lot of procrastination here. And going forward, I'm getting here, somebody is going to act. Somebody is going to break the silence. Somebody is, yeah, break the cycle. Five of Swords. Somebody realises what they've lost. But you're, there's something new for you. You're giving up something to get something much better. Okay, but the decision is yours. And then that's when kind of everything breaks loose and there's a lot of communication flying about in all directions, okay? So you, I'm kind of getting, you can expect to, with the communication to get very, very busy. I'm going to leave it there. Thanks very much for watching.